Hey guys, it's Arika Mish, and we're Kit in the kitchen, cooking it up. Y'all know what I do, how I do, so let's just do it. And today, we're going to be cooking some Larry's Hawaiian with tropical fruit juices. This is a marinade. Just wanted to show y'all this time, because last time I threw the bottle away, but I got the bottle today, y'all. It says here, it's a 15-minute marinade. I mar Y'all know, I marinated the meat overnight, overnight, so it can soak in all the juices. And um, so it's like a little Hawaiian uh, tropical uh, marinade that we're doing. And I've got some chicken breasts here, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Y'all know I got to take y'all into all the goodness. Ooh, wee, look at that chicken. Been marinating all night long, all night long. Yes, yes it has. Mm, 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 mm. So we've got our chicken. And we have some Idahoan loaded baked mashed potatoes. Yes, Idahoan loaded baked mashed potatoes. Made with 100% real Idaho potatoes, y'all. Idaho, that, that's where you're supposed to get your potatoes from, Idaho. I don't know nowhere else to be getting the potatoes from, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what, what I think. I think Idaho the only place with potatoes. That's the way they be making it seem that. I don't know, y'all. I'm just saying. Perfectly blended with sour cream cheese, onion, and chives with the taste of butter and bacon. That's a whole lot of going on, y'all. That sounds so good to me. Loaded baked potato. That's what I'm talking about. Everything in here. Sour cream cheese, onion, chives, butter, bacon. That's right up my alley. Let's look at these real quick in the back. Because y'all know I got to look at the back see what's going on. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Real potatoes real easy. Right up my alley. Real easy. <laughs> Okay, so all we need to do for the potatoes, add two cups of boiling water to a heat-resistant serving bowl. Anyway, two cups of hot water chai, and immediately add the entire pouch of the potatoes. Mix thoroughly. Use a fork to moisten all potatoes. Chai, mix your stuff. Use whatever you want to use. Fork, spoon, whatever you want to use. And let it stand for one minute. Stir and enjoy. So all we're doing is boiling some water and adding the potatoes. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Right up my alley, y'all. Let me show y'all again. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. So we're going to have some nice grilled. I'm going to put the chicken in the oven. It's going to be some nice grilled chicken with the loaded potatoes. That sounds good to me. Quick and easy, y'all. Let's go. All right. Cause so I already got everything ready already. So I got my pan for the chicken. And then I'm going to do the potatoes. And put it in the pan over here. Something like that. Y'all, let's see. All right, so let's go ahead. Let me get this chicken out. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right, gotcha. Okay, okay. All right, hands all washed. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, okay. All right, now let's get this chicken in here. I want to spray my pan. Let's spray the pan. I mean, this is a ceramic uh, dish, so you ain't really got to spray it, but I like spraying my stuff to help my chicken cook. So, I think I got like four chicken breasts in here. All right, okay, let's get the big ones out first. Okay, ooh, look at that marinated chicken breast. Oh, this going to be good. Okay. Okay, looking good. Oh, let me get y'all close look at that. Oh, look at all that goodness. Mm, 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 mm. All that goodness. That's going to be some good chicken right there. All right. Let's see how we're going to fit this all this chicken in here. Okay, yeah, we'll just do it like that. I'm going to pour this marinade in here. So, chicken been marinating overnight. Let's get all our chicken on the right side, y'all. Let's get it all on the right side. Okay, that's the right side. Okay. We just going to put it in there like this. And then I'm just going to pour my marinade in there. Get out y'all way so y'all can see. Just going to pour the rest of that marinade over the chicken. Oh, yeah. That's all nice and ready. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's going to be some goodness right there. Give me some goodness. 
Make sure I get all my stuff I paid for. All my stuff. And you know what? I really like the um the Larry brand. I really like these marinades. They've got quite a few different ones. I've used the teriyaki one on my channel. Uh, this Hawaiian one, lemon pepper one. I think I have. Uh, they've got they've got a couple. I think they've got about six or seven different uh, flavors. So let me make sure our marinade is all over the pan. Okay, okay, that look good, y'all. Ooh, that look real good. Ooh wee. Y'all know I keep out in the food business. Not my business, the food business. <laughs> I don't need to be in my business. My business ain't your business. <laughs> that's, that's the word of the day. That's the word of the day. Let people know my business ain't your business. And also, you got to let people know their business ain't your business either now. Because a lot of times, we we'll want people in our business, but we try to be in their business. Mm-hmm. That part. My business ain't your business. And your business ain't mine. That's how I see it. So... Don't ask me my business, I'm not, because I'm not going to ask you about yours. I know how to mind my business. I'm grown. Grown folks supposed to mind their business. Anyway, okay. Word of the day. Okay, yeah. Came a little early, but whatever. All right, so we got our chicken already, already. So let's go ahead. I've already got my oven preheated. I'm going to cook the chicken. Let me um let y'all know, because y'all be in my comments. How long you cook that? How long you, okay. I'm going to bake the chicken at 350 degrees and I'm going to bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes. This is the boneless uh, chicken breast so you know it's a little thick. So I'm going to set my timer for 20, mm, you know what, actually I'm going to go ahead and set my timer for 30 minutes because these are little thick little chicken breasts. So I'm going to do 30 minutes, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. That is my cooking time and temperature. Okay. Oh, don't get it twisted. Your girl, well educated. Well, boo. Trust that. Well. All right, let's get this chicken in the oven and then we shall move on to the Idahoan potatoes. Potatoes. However, you want to say it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's get these potatoes going. As y'all can see, I got some old school uh, hot tea brewing back there so I can make some old school sweet tea. My girls love themselves some sweet tea. That's what I was raised on sweet tea and Kool Aid. But anyway, all right, so let's get into these potatoes. Now, remember the instruction said two cups of boiling water. I made, I put four cups of boiling water in our pot because I have two packages, two cups for each package. All right, it's supposed to be easy, so the water boiling. All right, let's read it again. Cup of boiling water to a heat resistant serving bowl. Okay, all right. I'm supposed to pour this in a serving bowl, but we're just going to cut this off. We're just going to cut this off, so. Let's do it the easy way. And we're just going to stir in our potatoes. That's all we're going to do. I loaded potatoes. Now, I did add a little salt to my water. I added like a tablespoon of salt to the water. No, uh, a teaspoon, I meant. I ain't do all that salt now. The doctor told me to cut back on that salt. So, all right. So, we cut our heat off. I'm stirring in my potatoes. Okay, we're going to stir that in. Okay, boo-boo. Get the potatoes stirred in. I gotta add this second, my second thing of potatoes. I gotta add that. Okay, it looks easy. All right, let's add this second one. Calm down, potatoes. Calm down. Okay, child. Let's just move them over here, child, since they still all hot and boiling. All right, anyway, so let's put our second package of potatoes in. All right, okay, so these are like they don't want to open. Let me get my scissors, child. All right, so we got our first package of potatoes in there. Come on now. Okay, anyway, let's put this second, second thing of potatoes in. All right. All right, let's make sure you all can see. Looking good. And it's just an easy way to get quick potatoes. And these loaded potatoes. So, they say use a fork, child. So, I got the fork. Whatever. I don't want to use this fork on my pot to be scraping and scratching it up. But, 
just gonna have to be careful. Okay, they look good. They smelling good. Ooh, I smell everything. I smell the cheese. I smell the bacon. I see the chives. Okay. Okay, I had four cups of water in there now. Okay. Ugh. This dog on fork. All right, looking good. Let's get it stirred up some more. Let me put it back over my heat. Put it back over my heat, child. Make sure y'all can see. Okay. Let's go back over here where my heat at. Stir these up. I think I might add a little bit more water. I mean, they all right. I don't need to add no more water. But. No, I ain't going to add no more water. This perfect. Just like it said. Y'all know I add my own touch to the recipe in a minute okay i will do it in a minute i will tweak a recipe in a minute okay potatoes starting to come together okay all right okay 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 loaded potatoes okay all right okay our potatoes looking good okay okay all right, those potatoes was quick and easy, y'all. Quick and easy. I see the pieces of bacon. I smell the bacon. All right, okay. Okay, quick and easy. Them potatoes was quick and easy. Too quick for me. Well, not really. All right, y'all, that's it. Add a little butter to it, though. Y'all know me. I'm a tweaky. But okay, that's our potatoes. Let me bring y'all in so y'all can see. That's the potatoes. They look good. They smell good. Okay, quick and easy. We did the potatoes in what? Two minutes? Quick and easy. Boil the water, put the potatoes in that sturdy. Okay, I like those. Y'all go get them. Them some quick potatoes. And they loaded. They got everything in there. Y'all saw the package. Y'all saw me read it. They got everything in there. All right, y'all. So that's it for the potatoes. So I'll be back with the baked chicken coming out. The grand finale. Quick, y'all. We got to get in and out this kitchen. I'll be back. Okay, guys. We back for the grand finale. And as y'all can see, 30 minutes on the chicken. Like I said, 30 minutes. 350 degrees, 30 minutes on that big chicken. It looks delicious. It looks delicious. It tastes good, too, y'all. I had a piece. Yep. Sure did. Had a piece of my food. Told y'all it's my food. Mm, 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 mm delicious nice and juicy oh my goodness so good let me take y'all back over there to those loaded potatoes oh yeah add a little parsley across the top and y'all y'all know i had to tell y'all i gotta tell y'all so uh yeah i added a little milk to the potatoes because they were like a little too dry for me when i taste them they was like a little too dry so i added like a oh uh, just a little bit of milk don't worry about y'all anyway all right, so back over here to the chicken. Y'all see it. Y'all see me do it, so you know I did it. All right, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh, yeah, is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.